I thought I'd show off a little bit of my collection while I was thinking about it. I collect a little bit of everything, not only comics. Transformers. Predator, Alien. Statues. Oh, there you go. Economics and Comics Bill. There's some leg for you. LOL. <laughs> then I even got some He Man and Skeletor. Some old school Iron Spider there. And then here. Castle Grey Skull, all decked out. Orco, and then we got the wall. Some newer and older stuff. Some stuff didn't show up too good in the cases, but with this light, re edit Sentinel Sandman 1 6 scale. Even the skull with the crow, and of course, Alien Kotobukiya. Then we go on to Star Wars, Kotobukiya, Artifacts 1 tenth scale statues. And some Hot Wheels and Black series. Most of these are all Kotobukiya statues though. Emperor Palpatine. Oh, my favorite one six scale hot toys.
it's the Elder Predator version 2 from AVP. And I have Far From Home Spidey. And for those of you that know Sideshow Court of the Dead, There's a soft goods flash. Move some stuff so I could get a good view of the. This is the complete Kotobukiya X Men animated one tenth scale statue set. all of them that were released in this set for the 92 cartoon. Then I've got Spider-Man Homecoming and of course Thanos' glove Captain Marvel Humidity Controlled of course and then my second favorite it's actually from the video game, but it is a replica of the comic book Iron Spider. Fully articulated. Of course, Horror 2, more Star Wars, Star Trek, signed by George Takei there. And of course, The Walking Dead. And then we have a quarter scale alien. Uh, this is the, um, oh, what do you call it? Uh, the one that they based the main one off of. This is what it's supposed to look like before they changed it. And then, of course, I have the huge Millennium Falcon Lego. It opens, and I've got all the figures in there. Uh, cool. And Walking Dead. Walking Dead. That is from Rogue One, and it was only released with brand new Nissan Rogues in the year of the release of the movie. That is expensive. Pretty expensive. And it's solid and heavy. Then, of course, I've got more figures in their boxes. Then we go over more statues and figures on walls. This is a little bit messier here. You'll probably think this is stupid, but it's homemade. I couldn't afford to buy a Hall of Armor, so I collected SH Figwarts and Marvel and other brands. To make my own Hall of Armor and figures, and Tony Stark, and his holographic desk. Another re edit Sentinel. I thought this was cool. I made this myself. And then below are my shelves of Marvel Legends. Magic, She-Hulk, Spidey, and 
Then I have arrow, a whole bunch of Iron Man, movie realization, Misho, um, realization figures, Samurai Spider-Man, Iron Patriot, more suits of Iron Man, Deadpool, Flash down there on the end in Kotobukiya, just like Arrow on this end, and then more Return of the Jedi and Star Wars, and then, of course, keychains and everything, but look at this, Lego figures. Cases of Lego figures. I still got to get the rest of them out. I thought that was cool. I forgot. More He-Man. Actually, this is Hordak Swamp. I think that's what it's called. But it's complete. These are hard to get complete. It even has the going into the mouth and the door that opens and it works except ah, there it goes walks back in even the tree with the birds I'll just show this section from a distance but I got a life-size Yoda and a life-size Thanos glove over there and then Star Trek and then I've got Play Arts Kai these are all Play Arts Kai articulated 1-6 scale figures including Boba Fett Thor, Captain America, Superman, and there's his father, Mortal Kombat figures, I even collect dioramas. That was cool. 